going to show you something physical, and we can all try this, and I will teach it to you, and you can freak your friends out with this. I take this elastic right here, and I'm going to snort it up into my brain for a neuroscience class. That's very clever. I just made that. Well, my brain is pretty precious. Do you really want to see me snort this elastic? No. Yes. No? Yeah. 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 <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm okay. It's right. Now, honesty again, how many people perceive that going up my nose? Yeah. Most people do. This is such a strong effect that if you were to do this into the mirror, I always tell my students, you'll know you're doing it right when you do this in the mirror. Because it will fool your own brain. I have plastic syrup, but we're all going to try it. <laughs> Once again, where the brain completes pictures. What's happening here is this is my big action, and this is my little action. And often in magic, a big action will cover a little action. This is a perfect example of it right here. Watch. Without the face, nothing. With a little bit of a face, nothing. But when I make a big face, in spite of the fact you know it's going down, your brain will still compute this as going up. That's the elastic up the nose trick. Thank you. Now, the palm goes up. You pinch. You don't want to hook it. You want to pinch it because you want to pinch it into a single strand. So pull it up as far as you can and come back here. Now, I'll show you in slow motion the big action. Covers a little action. You have to drop your hands, and I'm telling you, if you don't snap your head, it's not going to work. So everyone get up like that. On three. One, two, three. Yes! You are on the same hands. 